today in Europe, we're headed toward a third industrial revolution. We call it digital Europe. The communication internet is matured. But now that communication internet in Europe is converging with a digitalized renewable energy internet that's going to allow millions and millions of people to produce their own solar and wind and other electric, uh, energy and send it back on an energy internet across Europe. And that uh, energy internet is now converging with an automated GPS and soon driverless road, rail, water, and air transport internet to create three internets, communication internet, renewable energy internet, automated transportation internet, to manage power and move economic activity across Europe. This is digital Europe. This will allow small businesses, large companies, whole regions to use this new digital technology for communication, energy, and transport to dramatically increase their aggregate efficiencies across their value chains. Laying out this third industrial revolution digital Europe infrastructure is going to engage every single region of Europe and all your local businesses. You're going to need semi-skilled, skilled, and professional employment to actually lay out the smart infrastructure for a smart regions, smart city Europe. GDP is slowing, and the reason is productivity has been declining all over the world for 20 years. And the result is unemployment's high. What we need now is a new economic vision for the European Union that's compelling and a game plan for that vision that's deployable. The regions are going to be responsible for creating master plans to transform their regions into this new digital economic paradigm shift. They're going to work with each other. They're going to share best practices. So we began to connect up uh, digital Europe region to region to region all across the 28 member states of the EU. The digitalization of communication, energy, and transport means that we can more efficiently manage, power, and move economic activity across the value change in each region. This means we're going to dramatically reduce our ecological footprint. Let's recall that the sun doesn't send a bill. <laughs> and once you pay for the fixed cost of these technologies to harvest the sun and the wind, the, the sun is free. The wind is free. They're clean. They take us off carbon. So what we have to see here is the regions taking up the responsibility, the business community, government, academia, the local civil society, uh, moving over the next three decades into a revolution to introduce, if you will, a post-carbon, sustainable, ecological civilization so that we can address climate change we flourish the biosphere of this earth and learn to live together in harmony with the biosphere in which we depend for our survival. This is the critical mission for every region in Europe and every region in the world.